There's nothing new about paying for stuff without using cash. But what is new is the growing number of ways people can transfer money electronically. The latest addition to that growing list is Swipe HQ, which turns smartphones and iPads into portable FPOS systems. Adrian Taylor explains. Hamish Pilkington is a regular at this market in Parnell, where he sells a range of macadamia nut products. He already uses an iPad to tell customers more about his family business, but that iPad could also become an electronic money terminal, thanks to the Swipe HQ. It would be great to have one less device on the stall, so if we could get rid of our FPOS terminal and, and use a smartphone, that would be fantastic. Swipe HQ is the brainchild of Auckland business Optimizer HQ. Other companies are doing a similar thing overseas, but the founder, Manas Kumar, says the system is a first in New Zealand. Just fire up the app, plug in the device, and once you've logged in, simply enter the amount, and as the device becomes available, swipe the card, you can sign here, press the continue button, and the transaction will go through. As simple as that. At the market, punters were most concerned about security. Just because it's a phone? Like... Yeah. Yeah, it's not, and it's not like an FPOS terminal, you know that and you get your receipt, boom. It would take a long time for it to come into effect if yeah. they did start doing that. But Kumar says the technology meets the industry standard security regulations. No, nothing is stored on the cell phone itself, so all card transactions are done through a completely secure channel. Uh, so security has been a, a very important focus for us in this case. Handyman and painter Roger Singleton says the new technology will make it much easier for clients to pay tradespeople. Saves a lot of paperwork, saves a lot of ringing up and saying, have you forgotten about your bill? And a lot of embarrassment, so yeah, it could be a very good idea, I'd say. The Swipe HQ is expected to be launched in August. Adrian Taylor, 3 News.